guys welcome to my channel or welcome back or you know I haven't posted in a while which sorry if you care if you don't okay I wanted to make a different video today but then I was like you know what that shit is like too dreary and I do want to make it but I'm gonna wait because I don't know I just felt like not talking about it today so I decided to make this video because you know who can have stripper in the title and not be like a fun video and it just doesn't happen, right? Nope, it doesn't. I'm telling you. I decided to make this video because I used to get asked a lot of questions about stripping. Um, not really lately because I haven't danced in a while, uh, but I'm a cam girl now. And I will get into that too, but not in this video. So this video, basically, I'm going to like address some of the things I get asked about and just kind of explain and, you know, being a stripper, becoming a stripper, why I don't want to be a stripper anymore or work in a club okay I don't know okay so first of all I'm going to uh, get into why why did I start stripping and how like what happened I started stripping because honestly the first reason is I grew up poor tired of that shit dude I was so tired of it could not take it um I think just thought it was like glamorous and I don't know where I got this idea that it was like I can't remember a specific thing or movie or anything I just remember like driving to my dad's apartment and we would always go past this club and it was huge and it was so nice and there's always these beautiful cars outside and fucking just people dressed up and it was it looked fucking like glamorous that is the club that I started working at when I was 18 I did it I was like oh my god I did it I did I was happy I don't fucking care I was happy about it but for all that I think I was inspired by you know I was poor that's fucking inspiring and there was a girl that went to my high school that I knew I was talking to her she was really pretty she was about to go to work and I seen her mall and she was about to go to work and she looked so pretty like her makeup and she showed me her outfit that she bought to wear to work I'm like oh fuck I want to do that and because and another thing that she said that stuck out to me I still remember exactly how she said it she's like you know I make so much money now like I don't know what to do with it and I'm like I went in, it was like a couple days after my 18th birthday, to audition. That's what you had to do. I like called and I was like, okay, I want to dance. What do you have to do? Blah, blah, you know, bring your ID and la, la, la. So you like go in and they weren't very, like they were kind of vague. Like you got to audition. I was like, oh, cool. All right. I went in and I had my boyfriend at the time drive me to this audition and I... People were like, oh, he, did he care? I don't care if he cared. I wanted to do. I'll be damned if I was going to let some dude say, oh, no. Like, if you don't accept me for me and everything, then it's not going to work. Because I ain't going to try to change your ass. Don't try to change mine. Plus, I am a very free-spirited person. I'm a very open-minded person. I accept people for all that they do if I like you and you're my friend I don't give a fuck what you do as long as it's not you know betray me or anything like that I don't care what you do you can be a stripper a hooker a skydiver home director I don't care what you do I don't care if you do pony play porn I don't fucking care if you're my friend and you're a good person and not a backstabbing asshole then no, that's just how I am. I just don't care. Like, there are lots of amazing, good people in the sex industry. So when people just lump everyone into one and just, it pisses me off. I don't like it. And I'm going to get into this really quick about the stereotype of the stripper, the porn star, the cam girl. There is fucking stereotypes for this shit. Oh well, usually these girls um, were abused and molested and you know, all of this shit. Which, yeah, sure. But a lot of people that aren't strippers in the adult industry were molested and all kinds of stuff. A lot of drug addicts that I know, especially females. I know that there's a lot of males too, but I just don't know any personally. But even if you ever watch the show Intervention, most addicts were molested <laughs> all the time. So, I mean, I wanted to be a stripper 
I was not abused. I was not molested. I liked my childhood. I was poor, but that doesn't mean I didn't like it. I liked my friends, like school. I made straight A's. Like, there was nothing. Like, we were poor. And yes, I did witness abuse because my dad was an alcoholic and coke addict. He beat the shit out of my mom in front of me. Like, three times that I remember very vividly and it used to scare the shit out of me but I also used to stick up for my mom and tell my dad I was gonna beat his ass. You know, shit happens like that to like everyone's family is dysfunctional. If they don't want to say it then fine but they are. Usually it's the ones that are really hidden about it like you know waspy. They're like the most fucked up. Not all, just saying but okay don't like that misconception like oh well you know you're a stripper and or a cam girl or a porn star or you like taking naked pictures so you know you must have been molested or you know daddy issues blah 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 yeah sure but there's a lot of girls I know that are not strippers and everything else that have daddy fucking issues and there's girls that are not strippers that have daddy fucking issues that are the biggest fucking whores on the planet yet look down on girls that just get paid to like show their tits and stuff which is no sense to me but sure uh so that stereotyping thing i'm just saying i wasn't molested i wasn't beat like i witnessed abuse i mean so i used to fucking beat people's ass in high school oh that didn't make me be like oh well you know i'll be a stripper like that's the dumbest thing i've ever heard especially for me because i don't let things affect me like that I just don't. You choose to or you don't. Like, I don't sit there and go through life and like, well, should I make this decision based on that I seen my dad hit my mom? No. Uh, should I make this decision based on I got, you know, I, my virginity was taken. I was raped. I That's how I lost my virginity. Do I let it affect me? No. Was it gross and traumatizing? Sure. But I'm not going to take it out on every guy that I'm with either. I'm not going to use it as like an excuse or a crutch or something because I don't, I choose not to do that because I'm, that would make, they like would win. I'm like, no, I wanted to be a stripper because I fucking wanted to be a stripper. I wanted to make money. I wanted to wear pretty makeup. I wanted to wear cute clothes and I wanted to not be fucking poor, dude. Like seriously, like I had enough of that shit. <laughs> Just wanted to say that. That's not true. Everyone has problems doesn't matter what the fuck you end up doing, you know, who fucking cares? Then I'm gonna get to like the audition, okay? So this is how I started. I walked into the audition and I was fucking nervous. Who wouldn't be? I mean, I would be nervous if I was like going in for an interview at Burger King. I don't fucking know. I was like 18. I went in and the manager has to like watch you audition and there's like two little stages and then a big main stage and there's two bars on each side like where the little stages are so I had to do it on like a little stage and this was during the day and it's open during the day but there wasn't like a lot of customers in there but there was people in there and the girls were starting to come in that worked the night shift who were like so fucking hot and I was like super nervous I was like oh no I ended up sitting there for like five hours. My boyfriend at the time sat in the parking lot the whole time. I mean, is that not fucking psycho or what? And then proceeded to get mad at me because it took five hours. Like when I came out, I'm like, you could have left and don't fucking yell at me. I'll punch you. Five hours. So after sitting there for about three hours, they're like, oh, okay, well, you need the shoes and an outfit, you know, go change. And I had the shoes, which I brought because to me, strippers, they wear like clear heels, big platforms. And if, if I didn't have that on, I couldn't really do the audition right. I was like, I, I need to, I have these shoes. And I used to wear them out, like before I was like a stripper. Like I just wore these shoes out because I thought they were cute. They were like glittery, silver platforms. They were fucking cute as hell. I did not have an outfit, however, I had no clue that I needed to have one, so I was like, oh great, like what am I supposed to do? And these girls were coming in and there was like a girl that was like, I could tell that she was like the head bitch in charge, you know, like you could just kind of tell. She was like super like thin and like tall because she had, she's actually short but her stripper shoes made her look really tall and she was like thin and had like tattoos and had like bleach blonde long hair. 
and Electra, but like bleach blonde hair. And I was like, okay, this girl is gonna be like the mean girl. She's gonna be like the Regina George of this place. So nervous, and I'm like up in the dressing room, and I was talking to another girl that was like asking me questions, and I was like, yeah, I don't have an outfit though, so I'm trying to figure out like if I should come back or whatever. And the girl, the the head bitch girl, um, just she was like, oh, you can wear one of mine, and I'm like. Oh, thanks. I was like so surprised, which I hated myself for because I was like, why did I think that? I think it was just like all the things I heard about strip clubs and like movies, like the Players Club. Like I love that movie, but that scared the shit out of me when I was like doing all that. I'm like, mm, I'm scared now. Uh, surprised by that. And I was like so relieved. I was like, oh my God, she's so nice. <laughs> And she let me borrow her outfit and it was like really cute. So I finally am down there about to audition and it's they're still taking. Like the manager's taking his fucking sweet ass time. Like it's really fucking annoying but whatever. As I'm sitting there waiting for him to come over so I can do this, all the girls start coming downstairs from the dressing room and they're all sitting at this bar that is literally right there on the stage like where I have to audition. And I was so fucking nervous because of that nothing else didn't care about taking my clothes off nothing of that sort i was just like oh my god they're all standing there they're gonna make fun of me they're gonna be like oh my god that girl's flat chested ew like i had no boobs then i didn't have boobs like for a while when i was stripping like barely the whole time like i had small boobs and i'm like oh god and i was like i'm gonna trip in front of these girls and they're gonna be like ha ha stupid ass bitch or they'll be like oh don't hire her did you see her oh god like this is what I'm picturing and I'm like sweating I'm like oh no why do they all have to be standing there I would not have given a fuck if it was like a fucking 80 dude sitting there because it was like these five or six girls I'm like oh my god I don't want to do it now but I just did it. I had to suck it up because if you run out and then like you're you look like a little bitch, dude. And I also remember this girl that was auditioning with me. She's like, "Oh, I never stripped before." Oh no, I never stripped. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, "Okay, good." You know, this bitch got up on stage before me. She definitely stripped before. I'm like, "You definitely have stripped before." And I mean, I found out later that she did, but I'm like, "Why?" Would you lie about that? That's the weirdest thing. Like, you're fucking weird. And I just didn't like her after that. And she made this weird comment. She's like, you know what? I won't. I didn't want a kid, but, you know, being a stripper, I would. Because you could just buy it, whatever it wanted. I'm like, please don't breed. Please don't breed. Uh, yeah. So that was like the audition. I got hired. The guy I was with at the time was not pleased because it took so long. And I was like, dude, why the fuck did you sit here the whole time? Like, don't, bitch, you could have fucking went home. Like, he was already on my last fucking nerve. So, so annoying at this point. Like, you just sit there, bitch. Anywho, when I first started, I worked a lot because I just, I wanted to make money. I'm like, I just want to make money. I want to get better. And I liked dancing. So I worked a lot and I made friends and I love them and I still talk to most of them to this day uh, it's just like who you surround yourself with there's bad people in every single profession there's asshole nurses there's asshole teachers asshole fucking doctors there's asshole construction workers just like there's fucking drug addict doctors, drug addict nurse, drug addict contractors. Uh, there's fucking drug addict strippers, obviously. But the misconception is like, oh, they're all drug addicts and they're all whores. And that's not true at all. At all. Most of the girls that I hung out with did not do any of that ever. They had steady boyfriends. They were in college. Not the whole fucking sex industry is fucking riddled with drug addicts and shit. Like... They're everywhere. It's not just that, dude. And most- Oh, I don't like that misconception either because it's not true. I did not do drugs like opiates and heroin when I was in a strip club at all. Ever. Not one time. It was after that. So... And then I always get asked, like, about money. I can always get asked about money. And I'm very open. I don't really care. Um, I'll tell you some tricks 
that aren't very tricky at all and just fucking common sense how to make money when you're in that kind of industry because I think a lot of girls just don't really understand this and I don't know why and it's very fucking stupid especially when you just meet someone to act this way so just trust me don't do it and you'll make way more money in the end the first thing do not tell sob stories even if they're true these guys come in here to have fun and forget stuff. They don't want to come in here and hear you can't pay your rent or your fucking cat has to go to the vet. Like, they do not want to hear this. If they want to hear someone bitching and nagging, they would stay home with their wives. But they don't. They come there and have fun and have you talk about something that has nothing to do with their fucking mundane life. So when you do that and you complain, you're just going to make their dick really soft and they're just not going to want to give you money. You have to make the dick hard to get money. Telling sob stories is not going to do that. I became friends with a lot of people that came in the club to see me. Like... I knew them better than most girls that worked there. Like, they were my friends. The same now. On cam, like, the guys that I talk to a lot, like, they are my friends. They tell me things. I tell them things. They're my friends. Like, I like talking to them. So, once you're, like, that level, and if you don't get to that level with customers, it's fine. I mean, I was friends with them, but I don't give out, like, my number, and I don't go out with them outside of the club. There are girls that do that. I just didn't want it to get to that point because I just wasn't comfortable with it and didn't want to do that. At the club, yes, and I told them that, like, look, I'm not going to be fucking you or be upfront with people. I mean, you have to, like, turn on the charm and the flirt so yeah, of course, but beyond a certain point with me is a no, but there are girls that do it. Who fucking cares if you want to do it? Uh, so no, I just don't recommend it because they can get crazy. And yes, I have people bought me stuff a lot and usually it was like through my space and stuff. So, but in person to me, I got weird vibes. I didn't like it. I was like, I don't want you to take me shopping and stuff because eventually they are going to want something and I just was not going to give that to them if I'm not attracted to. So it just wouldn't work for me. I just wouldn't be able to be a hooker. Like literally my body would just physically just shut down like, eh, nope. Mm, no. If you think that other girls that are models and influencers aren't fucking for money most of them are glorified hookers so let's be fucking real uh, be you just be you don't try to act like someone else don't try to act stupid just be you because it's really hard to keep up with that and if you get someone that spends money on you but then you know you just get some other way when you're drunk and you forget to like put that on then it's so embarrassing I knew a girl that talked with a british accent to this guy she ended up coming in a lot and then she would be drunk and then the one time she didn't know he was there and she was drunk and was talking right behind him and didn't have the accent and he found out and fucking hated her so just don't do that like, if you do it as a joke, make sure you tell them that it's a joke at the end of the night in case they do come back. Like, I don't know. It's just, just be yourself because, I don't know. If that's not good enough, then don't be a stripper. I don't fucking know. Huge part of, like, being a stripper and making money and being a cam girl is, like, making people feel good. Don't be an asshole to someone immediately because that is a huge mistake that is a big big mistake just write certain people off like oh they're they they won't spend money that's not true at all like my biggest spender was someone that someone everyone ignored so i'm gonna get into that next that money part so yeah um let's write more on the feel good thing you know listen to them ask them questions i 
honestly ask questions because I really want to know about people's lives. I don't know why I'm fascinated with it, like how people grew up and like what their life is like now. Why did you get married? Why is your wife a fucking nagging asshole now? Like I want to, I like to know so, and I think they know that and it just comes off. So if you really don't care but you, you can't pretend, you might have a little trouble with that. So it's not that hard to not be an asshole and you know actually listen to someone else. So I don't know, if you can't do that then you probably suck anyways so a little bit of tips you know just you know be a fucking decent human being you know just because you're a dancer or whatever doesn't mean you aren't most of them fucking are awesome um now I'll get into the money aspect like everyone always asks how much do you make well let's see I think the biggest the, I'll tell you the biggest tip I ever got was in one night and the biggest one was 500 no not 500 <laughs> Five thousand and like three hundred dollars. It was like up a little bit, of like three hundred something. That was in one night. Um, and this customer that I no one would talk to because he looked like he was a construction worker. Oh well, that construction worker was a foreman and he had lots of money and he spent lots of money on me and he would come in like once every two weeks, Tad, and he was awesome and I miss you. <laughs> and biggest tip, it was probably like. Three thousand dollars. It was kind of towards the end when I stopped stripping, um, but other than that, I would say on average. Let me just tell you that I I had money. I'm a stripper. It just depends. Like anything else, you have to hustle and you have to know how to do it right. So now, if you're like a real big bitch and stuff, you might want to be like a dominatrix. There's a lot of people that like that, and you can just be mean as fuck and get paid. So yeah. The last part I'll talk about is like the celebrities and athletes that come in there. So let me tell you, a lot of celebrities came in there, uh, especially the one club I worked at. I hung out with Korn, which was awesome, and Monkey actually pulled out one of his dreadlocks and gave it to my cousin, which was fucking sweet. I was a fan of their music, not of their dicks. Celebrities, I remember like Bam Magera would come in and I love him. Uh, he lives in the same state as me, so yeah. And he would come in a lot and uh, Don Vito would come in and he was problematic. Uh, I'm like, yes! And then he didn't want to pay. He's like, oh, I'm not going to pay. I'm not going to pay for lap dances. I was like, oh, you're going to pay me. Kate, when they do that. Like, you have money. Athletes do that too. You have money. Stop not tipping. Don't go into a strip club and not, uh, you think I'm going to get a room with you in a lap dance because you're an athlete? I don't give a fuck if you're an athlete. It's not my money. If you make it my money, then I'll fucking care. But I don't, so I could say, oh, I was, in, I was in a room with a football player. I don't give a fuck about football. I want paid. I'm working. You have money. Pay the fucking girls. Jeez. I hate him and obviously he's not around so rest in peace to him and this is no shade towards him at all. He would actually probably laugh about it. He might even remember this but he wanted a lap dance for me and I started doing it and he kept grabbing my butt and I turned around. I was like, bitch, if you fucking grab my ass one more time, I'm gonna punch you. And he's like, oh, you're gonna punch me? Like, you know, loud. And But I will tell you, the best tippers of any fucking group are hockey players. Hockey players never expected anything for free. They were fun and they would but anyways, I'm gonna get more into it. I'm gonna make more videos. I'm gonna make a video about the drama in the fucking strip club. You know, about the weird fetish shit that I've heard over the years and how nothing shocks me anymore. So yeah, hopefully this video wasn't a whole clusterfuck. I will be making more content, hopefully better content like skits and pranks and shit, which I have some recorded. I'm just trying to edit and figure shit out and like the video I guess. I don't know if that really helps because I don't monetize but sure like it anyway and subscribe because you know I like to interact and if you have any other questions about stripping even if it's a gross question I'll if I get enough I'll just make a whole video about gross strip <laughs> questions because there's some gross shit. That could be a video too. I have so many good fucked up stories so yeah there's just so so much so I, I could tell stories for a long time that are real. My shit's real okay? Fuck that. It's too hard to lie. It's, it's just too hard. It's not worth it. So thank you for watching. I will see you next time which will not be four months. I promise.